Because you're fighting against the poor and the needy. Tax collectors. You know, you you uh, do the telephone uh, thing, you know, when you're harassing people. Man, ma'am, you ain't paid your bill. They got you doing that. Yeah, that's harassing your people. Now, you're working for the devil. That's who you're working for, the devil. You're supposed to step down, didn't Moses step down from the highest seat? Moses was going to be next in to rule the throne of Egypt. Moses had to step down and suffer persecution with his people. There's a lot of positions out here, but you ain't going to get hired. You ain't going to get that seat. Moses was going to get, you ain't going to get that seat. So if Moses can do it, as seeing him who is invisible, seeing his God, if Moses can step down, you can step down from your little jaw. You can step down. Yeah, he was going to be running from a, a, a political seat. Senator, a mayor, a governor. Step down. Because that's not a righteous seat. That's the seat of the scarf. You're going to be a judge, attorney. Step down. Because that's the seat of the scarf. The bail bondsman. You sweating your people. You strong arming your people. You embezzling your people. You got to condemn these jobs. These positions. That's all ungodly. That's your uh, 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 Proverbs 1. They tell you, to, let's, let's make one purse. Let's persecute. That's the, they persecute the children. They, that most of their money is, is, is made. Their revenue is made off who? Jake. Hey, who's who's number one in their prison population? You know that's that's a multi-million dollar business, uh, and and these judges, and all and the police, and and, and the globalists, they all in on that together. These politicians, they in that, they get a cut. All of them get a cut. Off what? Keeping Jake in captive. The vote. That's what the voting is for. That's where that 19, that woman's vote came in. That woman's vote, what's that, 16? Whatever, man, whatever it is, it come after us. We're prior. We're before 1871 Corporation. We, we're in there, signed, sealed, and delivered before 1871. Okay, so 1871, whatever they put in that, at the Constitution, that's heathens. But they call the public... Those are consenters. They ain't got nothing to do with us. We the Republic. We the Commonwealth. We Zion. We don't carry that. Those are the hijackers, y'all. 1871, those are the hijackers. They have uh, statutes and acts that they try and make us believe are laws. Statutes and acts. But those are not amendments. See, the Constitution has amendments. One, the First Amendment, all the way through the 15th Amendment. We have amendments. They don't have that. The non consenters have amendments. See, that's cosmic. That's cosmic, y'all. We the cosmic people. We Zion. We ain't of this world. See, Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. That's your constitutional people right there. That's your uh, Isaiah 9, 6 through 8 right there. That's the constitutional people. But anyway, let's abandon this. And real quick, let's get to that uh, virgin birth. Can we get to that? Because that's what some of these doctrines of men try to tell you that uh, uh, that Jesus is not cosmic. They trying to tell us that the Bible's not cosmic. The Bible's cosmic. So they try to get us to uh, to go along with the okie doke. Of uh, I had my thought. I'm trying to recapture my thought. But yeah, the Lord brought with us to Him, so we're engaged. The children of Israel. That's that engagement. Even uh, Paul said that. What was that? Uh, Second Corinthians eleven. Let's go there real quick. If we can get this in, I'm gonna try and get this in, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to at this late in the video, but I'll give it a shot because I want to get it in. 
Second uh, Corinthians eleven two. It says, "For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused." See, we're espoused to the Lord. That's engaged. He's talking about engaged. See, that's this is where you should be right now in the body of Christ. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused. And in an Old Testament, this word would be called brothel. Brothel. Keep it in mind, because uh, you'll see. Expouse you to one husband, that I may present you a chaste virgin in Christ. This is what we're supposed to be. A virgin. This is without sin. See, if we follow the voice of Jesus Christ, remember he said, Whom the Son is made free is free indeed. The blood, the water, the spirit, the scriptures is cleansing us from sin, all sin. So we become a virgin. You know, he make all things new. So it's, it's going to be as if we never have sinned, ever. So we took us all through this process so we could know darkness. We could know the difference between darkness and light. Okay? Um, that's what all this process was about. Because that's why in Genesis 1, 26, he said, uh, let us make man in our image and likeness. And then when we fail, he said, man has become as one of us. He said, to know good and evil. So our whole process, we knew evil first, right? Through Adam and Eve, we, we were born into darkness. We're born into sin, shaped into iniquity. So we know evil right there. And so then when Jesus comes, it's the light. Right? So he brings us out of all that darkness into what? His marvelous light. 1 Peter 2 and 9. Into his marvelous light. So now we know as Christ, as when he said man has become as one, he's talking about, he was talking about Jesus. His image. His image. So now we know good and evil. Now we know, you know what I'm saying? Life and death. We know what's of life and what's of death. So then we fully mature. But anyway, uh, this expiles. Uh, so that's what the bridegroom is. The bridegroom, what? Even in the natural, he he has a uh, uh, he's engaged. They call it engaged. In the ancient days, it was called brothel. So that takes us to Deuteronomy. Let's go to Deuteronomy. I'm trying to bring this in, y'all. Deuteronomy. If I don't get it in, I'll bring it back another day. If the camera cuts off. Because it's kind of late to be getting into this. But I want to get into it. Deuteronomy 22. Let's start with verse 13. So I'm saying he brothled us. And the word of God is the brothel. The scriptures. The, whole, the, uh, the Old Testament, New Testament. It brothels us to God. It's, we're engaged. That's what Paul just told us. Through the scriptures. You know, he has a, because the Old Testament and New Testament is one and the same. That's the volume of the book. That's the volume of the book. Psalms 46 to 11. So the scriptures brought to us. We're engaged. Remember, these are the Jews. Those that, what, Luke 9, 23, deny themselves, take up their cross and follow Jesus Christ. What advantage, remember Romans 3, 1 through 4, what advantage had the Jew? The oracles of God, the volume of the book. Now let's start with Deuteronomy twenty two thirteen. It says, uh, "If any man take a wife and go into her and hate her, and give occasion of speech against her, and bring up an evil name upon her, and say, I took this woman, and when I came to her, I found her not to be a maid; she wasn't a virgin, right? And then the father of the damsel and her mother." Take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city and the gate. And the damsel's father shall say unto the elders, I gave my daughter unto this man to wife, and he hated her. And lo, he had given occasion of speech against her, saying, I found her, I found not thy daughter a maid. She wasn't a virgin, he's saying. And yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity. And they shall spread the cloth before the elders. Elders are the heads at this time. 
of the city and the elders of the city, they make the judgment. The elders make the judgment. Right? And then it became the apostles and the elders. They would make the judgments. Right? That's after the law of Moses. After the law of Moses. And the city shall take that man and chastise him. If he lie, he got to be chastised. And they shall immense him a hundred shekels of silver and give them unto the father of the damsel because he lied because he had brought an evil name upon a virgin of Israel and she shall be his wife he can't put her away uh, he may not put her away look all his days right right uh, see but he had already laid with her so, you know, the Hebrew is like that man's doctrine. They say once you go into her, she's automatically your wife. That's not true. That's not true because there's a, a ritual that you would have to go through to make her your wife. Even though you could go into her, uh, if you did that ahead of time, that don't make her your wife. That's what I'm showing you. So I'm showing you the lie that they talk about Mary and Joseph. But if this thing be true... And the tokens of her virginity be not found for the damsel. Then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of her father's house. And the men of her city shall stone her with stones. If that was true, she can be put to death. That she died because she had wrought folly in Israel to play the whore in her father's house. Remember, we got rebuked for playing the whore. Remember Hosea 3? He said, you cannot be a whore. You cannot be for another man. The Lord is looking for a virgin. So shalt thou put away evil from among you. If a man be found lying with a woman married, check this out, y'all, to a husband, then they shall both of them die, both men that lay with the woman, and the woman shall, so shalt thou put away evil from Israel. Adultery is evil. That's adultery. If a damsel that is a virgin, here it is, pay, pay attention, y'all, be brothel, Brothel engaged, y'all, unto a husband engaged, and that that means to become her husband, because they brothel. That's engagement, espousal. The same as a uh, Second Corinthians eleven, where we read, uh, Paul espoused us to the Lord. We're engaged, right? And the Lord is called our husband. He's called our husband, but he's also the bridegroom. Unto a husband. And a man find her, this is another dude, a stranger, in the city, and lie with her. Then ye shall bring them both out unto the gate of the city, and ye shall stone them with stones, that they die. The damsel, because she cried not, being in the city, and the men, because he had humbled his neighbor's wife. That wasn't even his wife. He humbled her. So thou, see, Mary... If, the, if what these doctors of men say about Mary and Joseph, Mary should have been stoned and put to death. So thou shalt put away evil from among you. But if a man find a brothel damsel, check this out, y'all. Brothel damsel in the field, and the man force her and lie with her, then the man only that lay with her shall die. But unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing. There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. For as a man, when a man rises against his neighbor and slay of him, even so is this matter. Same thing. For he found her in the field and brothel the damsel and the brothel, excuse me. He found... <laughs> For he found her in the field, the brothel damsel, she was engaged, she was engaged, cried, and there was none to save her. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, here we go, y'all, let's get some drum rolls. If he find a damsel that is a virgin, like Mary would be, which is not brothel, remember she said, I know not a man. Right here, this was before she knew Joseph, she said, I know not a man. Which is not brothel. So she was not brothel. Mary was not brothel at this time. And lay hold on her. And lie with her. And they be found. Then the man that lay with her. Shall give unto the damsel's father. Fifty shekels of silver. And she shall be his wife. 
See, see, he had to pay up. Because he had humbled her, he may not put her away all his days. A man shall not take his father's wife nor discover his father's skirt. Now let's get that in uh, Luke. Luke 1. Stay with me. And uh, 29. Uh, Luke 1, 29. Uh, my fault. I had it in my knocked it off. Luke one twenty nine. Now we go for times at Luke one thirty. Luke one thirty. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Because you had to be a virgin to find favor with God. He only deals with virgins. We just read that. Okay. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom there shall be no end. Check this out. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? She was not brothel. She was not engaged. At this time. Right? God brought Joseph to her. Right? God brought Joseph Joseph to her later. Later. Let's finish it. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? She didn't know a man. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which, the holy, that means it's pure. Right? This is cosmic. This is cosmic. The Bible is cosmic. Pure. Holy. Of God. Holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Y'all see this? But if you believe men, man, that means in his name, Jesus Christ, uh, shall the Gentiles trust. We should have started with that one. Uh, in his name shall the Gentiles trust. What verse is that? Highly favored. Uh, and the angel came and said unto her, Hail Mary, thou highly favored, Lord be blessed. When she came and saw this trouble, uh, we was on our way there. My fault. Son of the highest, the Lord God given unto thee the throne of his father David. He shall reign forever over the house of Jacob. Right? This is Isaiah 9, 6 to 8. His kingdom there shall be no end. Then Mary said to him, uh, unto the angel, How shall this be, saying, I know not a man? She was not brothel. Verse 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come on thee, upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. The Son of God. Now let's go to Matthew. Y'all already know. Matthew 1 and uh, 18. Matthew 1, 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When his mother Mary was expelled. There it is. Brothel. Brothel, y'all. Brothel to Joseph. So I'm saying the Holy Ghost brothels us to God's word. Wait a minute. We're going to come back there if we got time. What do we want? Uh, uh, Hosea 2. I think we want Hosea 2 17. Hosea uh, 2. And 17. So just as God was. Uh, for I will take. Hosea 2.17. For I will take away the names of Balaam. Out of her mouth. And they shall no more be remembered. By their name. Verse 18. I should have started with 18. And in that day I will make a covenant. For them. With the beasts of the field. And with the fowls of heaven, and with the creeping things of the ground, and I will break the bow of the sword and the battle out of the earth. So, 
so it won't be by flesh. And will make them to lie down safely. And I will brothel, here it is. This is engagement, you know. I, and I will brothel thee unto me. This is children of Israel. So we're engaged to the Lord through his word forever. So we're engaged forever, y'all. The scriptures, which is the everlasting covenant. Isaiah 59 and the last two verses. What is that, 20, 21? Isaiah 59. Say the scriptures is the everlasting covenant. So we are brothel to the Lord. Engaged to the Lord forever. Yea, I will brothel thee unto me in righteousness. Look. And in judgment. That's all for us. Isaiah 33 verse 5. Uh, Isaiah 5 verse 16. And in loving kindness. And in mercy. We get all of that. The house of King David. And I will even brothel thee unto me in faithfulness. And thou shalt know the Lord. See, that only we can know the Lord. Only we can be circumcised in the heart. Did we read that? Jeremiah 9, 26. And all the house of Israel are uncircumcised. But then Jesus came. Romans 15, 8. With the circumcision. The everlasting covenant. The promise of, of uh, Genesis 17, verse 13. It would be in the seed of Abraham's flesh, the circumcision. So we the Jews, the Jews are those who, who are brothel to the Lord. Uh, John 4, 22 through 24. And it shall come to pass, and that day I will hear, said the Lord, I will hear the heavens, and they shall hear the earth, and the earth shall hear the corn and the wine. This is the fruit and the oil. And they shall hear Jezreel. Jezreel means God's souls. So he sowed his seed, which is Isaiah 9, 6 through 8. And the word came to Jacob. And it lighted upon Israel. The seed that's got to enter into our heart to transform us. Out of the old into the new. And I will sow, see, her unto me. This is the, this is the word of God. Luke 8, 11. I will sow her unto me in the earth, and I will have mercy upon her, Zion. The her is Zion. That had not obtained mercy. So he took away mercy, but gave it back to, to uh, Judah. You got to come to Judah. And I will say to them which were not my people that thou art my people. And they shall say thou art my God. Now, Hosea 1, go, go back one chapter. Hosea 1, verse uh, uh, 7. Make a, you know. I know this camera about to end, so we got to take a shortcut now. Hosea 1, 7. But I will have mercy, here it is, upon the house of Judah. See that? The Lord inherits Judah. And only Judah can know God. Psalm 76, 1. In Judah is God known. His name is great in Israel. Right? We become one nation. Right? We become one nation. Through what? Circumcision of the heart. So you got to be a Jew and circumcised in the heart by Jesus Christ. In his name shall the Gentiles trust. In his name shall the Gentiles trust. It's one book. Remember the devil's going to fight against us. Whatever name will be written in this book, that's the name of salvation. So the devil will bring all kind of propaganda against the name in the book. But Jesus fought the devil by saying, it is written, it is written, it is written. Let's finish this. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah. Y'all, there it is. Jesus came out of Judah. Hebrews 7, 14. And will save them, look, by the Lord their God. Jesus Christ is the Lord our God. He saves us. Tell you right there. Jesus Christ is the Lord our God. And will not save them. Look, by bow. We don't need no guns. No corner weapons. By bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, nor by horse, nor by horsemen. Ain't that plain, y'all? Ain't that plain? Right? He saves us. Okay. Uh, and not by power. I would, yeah, let's click on that wheel right there. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. 
we're cross represent. Psalms 44 3. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, even in the Old Testament. So he the same God, he don't change. Neither did their own arm or own flesh. Remember, curses the man that trusted in men, right? Who made flesh his arm. You trusted in the politicians, right? Your pastor, your camp leader. That's flesh. That's the arm of man. Right? Neither did their own arm save them. We didn't save ourselves. But thy right hand, the right hand is God's spirit, the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 12, 3. His right hand is his name. The Holy Ghost is Jesus. Right? I was saved. And we just read it in Hosea. I was saved by the Lord their God. Jesus said, here you is the Lord our God is one Lord. Right? By the right hand. That's his right hand. He saved us for his name's sake. That's basically what he's saying. For, make a long story short. This is all for his name's sake. To tell us in uh, e uh, Ezekiel 36. And thy arm. He saved us by his own arm. And thy light. Jesus is the light. Of thy conscience. Jesus is the light of God. Remember that voice. Following that voice. That cell phone. That sound. The joyful sound. That voice brings us right to the face of God, to know Him face to face. That's what we say, I will show you plainly of the fire. I won't know, I'm speaking to you in Proverbs no more. That darkness, see, the darkness passes away. If thy eye be single, the whole body is full of light. You see one God, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. You see one. That's, that's a, a light that comes through Jesus. Growing in your heart. He's got to grow in your heart. And in your mind. That's the new covenant. Hebrews 8. 8 through 13. I will write my laws in their heart. And, and, and put them in their minds. And I will be to them a God. They should be to me a people. One God. See that's what the light does. The light. That's the light of his continence. That's what we after. His face. The light of thy continence. Because thou hast favor. There's that favor. In his favor is life. Psalms 30 verse 5. Life. That's eternal life. Favor unto them. Zechariah 4 6. Then he answered and spake unto me saying. This is the word of the Lord. Unto Zerubbabel saying. Not by power. Didn't we just read that? Hosea 1 7. Not by your own board. Nor your own sword. Right here it says. Not by might. Nor by power. But by my spirit. Said the Lord. He saves us. By the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost that's written. 2 Kings 19, 30, 31. Let's get it. Y'all thought I wasn't going to say it. 2 Kings 19, 30, and 31. We said he's going to have mercy on Judah, right? And uh, uh, Hosea. Didn't he uh, that tell us that's how we return to the king, our prince, the image of God? Hosea 3. Uh, 2 Kings 19.30 And the remnant, this is the remnant That is escaped of the house Look of Judah I shall have mercy on Judah Not by power, not by might But by my spirit The Holy Ghost 1 Corinthians 12.3 Judah shall yet take Look, root That's your uh, Revelation 22.16 Jesus the root of David Jesus is our root, y'all. This is the Holy Ghost is our root. The Holy Ghost is the circumcision of the heart and ears. Acts 7, 51. That's the voice of God. This is my beloved son here.